Hello everyone, and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you a product that you've probably seen before, and why not, that probably don't work. Um, it's a product that's been around, or not just a product, but there's several products called the base, right? They've been around a while, and obviously we've seen them before, and I thought, you thought, hmm, do they actually work, or don't they work? And it is, as you've seen in the title, one of these. This is just a cheap one bought off a well-known auction motorcycle so it may or may not even work so it should hopefully work um and what it does it takes from the aerial and roughly bear in mind this is an old antenna really old antenna obviously where it pops up and down it's automatic so it's not got any metal wiring in it it uses the actual metal off the antenna to pick up the radio so it's just one big lump of metal I'm running if that will pick up a signal. Um, and you see, so obviously, every comes in here and that goes into the into the radio, but I don't use it anyway. The car's already got a dab antenna on the ring screen, um, or aerial antenna, I don't know which one to make. Um, but the problem that, as you can see by the wire hanging here, is I have a dash cam in the car, but and with the ring screen dab antenna. A lot of the time the signal will drop out somehow there's an interference between the camera and the aerial i'm not sure why so i thought i'd give one needs to if if the area if the rear antenna can be used for a dab hopefully that shouldn't affect the dash cam or dash cam shouldn't affect that as the antenna is outside the car and technically outside the car and then um, hopefully won't be affected obviously you've got the asm is it SMB or SMA? I don't know if two, I think it's SMB where it plugs on and SMA is where you twist it on, I think. Either way, it's got the correct one I need and it's got a few power for your unit. Now, it shouldn't be too hard. Like I said, I'm not actually going to fit it today. I should want to test it to see if it actually works. And I'll fit it on a different day. But hopefully it works. And um, when I pop the antenna up, I'll get some actual signal. So, but yeah, got an, like I said, it's got actual pass through as well. It passes through, so you use normal, um, normal FM, FM or AM, and then obviously have to dab as well. Which is not enough work, and this means that my plan is for this SEL will be um, very much in full action. So, if this works, like if this works, I'll probably get a bit more. But, Bit more of a better quality one for the cell but i should definitely be using this for the cell as well and that's got the same style antenna so let's get on to removing the radio and um see if anything can actually actually work as described okay so you should go to see carefully take this off without it breaking if i move the head unit itself I might be able to it's off a bit better. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. I didn't break it. That's all good. So, let's put the keys in inside here. That's one. That's two. It's a bit bent. So hopefully, it's a decent area. Keys are in, not out now. Radio coming out. Oh, the whole radio coming out apparently. So, I now need to hopefully find that antenna cable, which I don't use. Got the dab cable here. Yeah, you can still connect it. Or I can't. Open it. Got a fish round in there now for a big old antenna cable. Which you add it. And fill one big old cable here. There we go. Antenna cable out. So this should plug in to here, like that.
you got OB signal, we'll then plug an antenna into the back here. That's plugged in. Now all I need is a power source. I should put the head unit back on. Perfect. I will show you before, but we don't need to see it before. I know for a fact that my um, dad radio works perfectly fine with just a um, dab antenna. So. Why is everything not wanting to budge? And I know that yellow should be the switched. Right. Moment of truth. Got no signal at all on the dab. Pop my antenna up. It actually works. It actually works. I am amazed at that. Um, if I angle this a bit more, like that, there you go. So, can you see just here, you've got antenna signal, and you've got nothing. There you go a bit. I'm going to see, he's even got, got a radio station coming up. If I raise the antenna completely, there you go, see the antenna's coming up again. See, you've got full, full bar signal there. I'm going to unplug the radio antenna. And nothing. Okay. So now that does actually show it is actually working. See that this is standard area we've got here for the really green antenna. And it's still what? How's it big enough all bar? Was it nip too close to that? Okay. What about? Oh, there we go, we've lost it again. Oh, okay. Is it just picking up from this? Oh, go close to that again. Hmm, that's strange. But let's plug it back in again. No, oh, that's why. Power cable come out. So, we're near there now. That is still unplugged. So, if I waggle this next to this, does that work? Got a little bit of signal. A little bit of signal. Get a full zoom, hopefully you can see it. Now let's go back into this. And then turn this fully out. And I'm getting a full bar signal. Hmm. Well, I think I have to admit that that actually works. And again, I've got the actual pass through just here as well. Oh, radio's gone. Hmm, I had the power still plugged in. I'm going to lower the antenna. And the signal is dropping down. Hmm. Well, I think it is working. I mean, it looks like it's ups and downs, but plugged in, it does appear to be working. And turn it again back up. And it's now getting full signal again. One more bar to go. Got three bar. I would say it works, even on an old school metal antenna. I'm going to go through all my ja channels and uh, I'm just going to have a little play around with all of them. Okay, so this cheap splitter off a very popular auction site, which you can bu either buy straight away or sell at an auction. Again, you probably know what one I'm talking to about already, but it actually <laughs> works. I mean, I've seen these advertised for a long while now, and you think it's one of them gadgets that are never going to 
never going to work and it's yeah pointless to buy anyone one um yeah when reading the description on these it said it works with the like modern and then if you want a fit one if you wire out you know the wire out around them background didn't say anything about the old school antennas like these, like the really old ones, like the metal antennas that just pop up and down. Um, I didn't think it would work for them at all, I thought I'd try it. Um, I've had no hopes of it working at all due to it should be an old antenna. But it actually does, it actually does work, which is a shock. It really is a shock to see it, to see it actually able to use the old antenna and um, seeing a really good signal to the ra radio. I'm actually shocked at how clearly the signal works. I thought it might be a bit bad, a bit quiet, but no. It is actually a really good signal and good quality from something that costs £8. You can get cheaper ones, you can get more expensive ones, and they will do the same job. Um, the more expensive ones turn up a metal case, worth it. It's gonna be any more better than what's actually inside this one. Who knows? And this one actually also comes with a inline fuse, which I don't see a lot of the more expensive ones do not come with an inline fuse. If, um, when you read instructions, you can mean the power them from the antenna feed rather than a feed in. So this can actually be powered from a, um, a switched uh, feed, obviously, you wouldn't want to do it with a live, permanent live, uh, it'll drain the battery. But yeah, you mean to do need with a switched again, but don't take any electrical fight from me. This is just a demonstration video, and this is not a how-to video or how you should do it video. So please just take this at purely entertainment purposes, and actually do not copy any advice you hear from me regarding power and how this works, and how to power on this. But, yeah, like I said, I'm just shocked it actually works on an old, bear in mind this, the car you're viewing, this is an old 1980s uh, car, um, with an old, like I said, old mechanical one. Um, uh, and turn on that box up and down whenever you turn the radio on. But yeah, I am just like you said, I, I'm just surprised at how well this thing actually works. I'm probably gonna plug it back in again for a minute too, just to do some more louder testing on, on it, to, just to really make sure it does hold up and last. But but yeah, I am actually shocked. So, but at least now I know it works, and that should, at least for my plans, make my uh ideas for my other car a bit more of a go ahead and now it means I can stop using that in the um, screen antenna which interferes with the dash cam I'm positive that one will not interfere with the dash cam so I'll leave it on the just for now and then eventually I go for a drive and whatever not and test out fully um, and upload the video half of that after I've done that test and then I leave it on a little note and the bottom of this, whether it does interfere or doesn't interfere with the dash cam on. For now at least, I think that's the end of this video, so yeah, I'm going to wrap up with seeing this actually does work, as you've heard me say about 5,000 times already in this video. Um, if, you, if you are contemplate, contemplating them, try one of these, they, they are worth it. It will actually pick up the signal, obviously depending on if the one you bought actually works or not, but at least for example in this one, right here right now does actually pick up a digital signal on this old analog antenna so a little bit windy yeah definitely shut this but yeah so if you're driving an old 80s mark and you've got a modern head unit but you want to listen to dab stations you do not need to buy a like 40 50 pound 100 pound little dab adapter thing that you plug into your radio you can quite literally buy one of these and quite simply get your old dab antenna or your old analog antenna picking up dab, dab signals for your head unit if you, have a, if you have a modern head unit so it's been on a drive I hope you found this video informative I think it was the, I believe actually as well this is be the only video on, on YouTube that actually shows one of these working you see many like videos on there from people showing them, but never actually showing these things actually working. So I believe this will be a YouTube first, which should be nice. Anyway, this has been on the drive. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and hopefully you found this video quite informative.
So if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like and subscribe, it really does help you see the channel to grow. So this has been On The Drive, and I'll see you in my next video.